Hey guys, just wanted to uh, make a quick video to <coughs> demonstrate how to use the FBX Builder plugin that I made. Uh, it's mainly made for bringing in models that have multiple pivot points that you want to preserve when you bring them into uh, Unreal. And uh, right now, if you were to bring, the, for example, this helicopter has, you know, the fuselage uh, pivot point. It's got a, a rotor pivot point and a tail rotor pivot point. If you were to bring all this uh, into Unreal, as you know, all these pivot points would move down to zero, zero, zero. Um, and it's kind of a pain if you're making something where you're like something like this, where you want the pivot points to stay where they are so you can rotate everything around. Um, so anyways, what you do, and uh, unfortunately you will need Maya to do this because you need to use uh, freeze transformations on the geometry in order for this to work correctly when you export the FBX. So you're gonna wanna open up Maya, uh, to select, uh, import your model or uh, build your model inside of Maya. And <coughs> when you're all done and you're ready to export to uh, FBX, just grab everything in your scene, all your geometry, go up to Modify, and then Freeze Transformations. Now, <coughs> each one of your objects, you want to make sure that over here they... <coughs> Sorry, I've got a little bit of a cold. Um, they all are zeroed out and scale should be set to one on every single one of your objects in the scene. So once that's done and you've uh, uh, frozen transformations on everything, just select everything. Um, you'll notice over here too, uh, copter, the fuselage is the parent and then the, the rotors are children of that. And that also, the plugin also makes that happen in um, uh, the blueprint, which you'll see in a minute here. Uh, so just grab everything in the scene um, this export selection, uh, I already have one saved out here. Um, just export it. Wait till that finishes exporting. And now you're ready to go into Unreal. So, in Unreal, when you open it, uh, you're gonna want to, uh, make a project, and then you're gonna want to put a plugins folder in your project. And uh, <coughs> then copy the uh, FBX Builder folder into that. And then double check to make sure that it's in there um, under edit. Uh, actually, if you just edit and then you see this FBX import, you'll know it's there. But if it's not there, just go into plugins. It should be down here, Fusion Labs FBX Builder. Make sure that's checked on. And then um, to import your stuff into here, what you'll do is you go under edit. FBX import, click on that, go to your uh, FBX you want to import, hit open, and you'll have an uh, import options window that opens up, and there's a couple things you have to make sure of. Um, under mesh, hit this show advanced, make sure combined meshes is unchecked. You don't want that checked. So make sure that is unchecked, and then under import settings, under static mesh import data, um, now where'd it go? Oh, there it goes. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so you'll want to click that advanced setting on that uh, to open this all up. And under static mesh import data, uh, down here, it's going to say compute normals on default. Um, you're going to want to make sure it says import normals. Um, if you don't, then it'll, it'll try to compute it. It won't come in right. So make sure that says import normals, and the other thing is make sure combined meshes is unchecked. So once you got that, just hit import. Let that import in. And you'll notice uh, it brought the pieces in, the materials, but also has this my object. All this is is a uh, st structure that has each mesh in there, and it's got the mesh name where the original rotation point was in uh, in Maya and uh, what its parent is for each one of these. So it's just a temporary thing. I, once you get done with this procedure, you can actually just delete this out of your content uh, once you're done. Uh, you'll need it first, so don't delete it yet. But So now you want to um, <coughs> you want to make a new blueprint. You can be anything. I'm just going to pick actor. And then you open the blueprint up. I'm just going to move it over here so I can see both. And then you're going to want to grab um, 
each one of these meshes. So you want to grab each one, and then you drag all your meshes up into here, into your blueprint, drop them in, and then you're going to want to select them up in here uh, as well in the blueprint, make sure they're all selected. And then down in your content browser, deselect everything, and then you're going to want to select the My Object and the new blueprint you just made. So you want the My Object, the blueprint, and all your meshes that are inside this blueprint selected. Now inside the blueprint, click on File, then go down to Build Scene, click on that, and now you see uh, it has gone through and parented everything. Um, and it won't show up in your, in your you're going to want to compile too. Hit Compile and Save. And it won't show up correctly in your viewport until you close the blueprint and then just reopen it. Now if you click on the viewport, you'll see that everything's where it's supposed to be. And the pivot points are where they're supposed to be for each object. And now you can you know, animate these without having to try to reposition them and do all that stuff. Um, and as you can see, when you drop it into the scene, it comes in just right. So that's how you use the, uh, the plugin, and I hope you guys find it useful. Uh, I've been using it a lot. Um, I had uh, someone test it out with a very, very large model. It was like over 200 objects, and it brought everything in correctly. All the pivot points were right. So it um, should work well. You just have to use that Maya first, freeze transformations, bring it in, um, and then just use uh, the procedures I showed you in Unreal, and it should work fine. Um, let me know if you guys have any problems. Uh, be glad to help out if I can, and uh, enjoy. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.